ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮರಂಧಸ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನಾಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ಮಿಳಿತ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತಾಪದಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಣ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಗನಾರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದನ್ ಸಗಣಾಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತೆ ತಪ್ತಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೇ ಬೃಂದಾಮನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧೂಭ್ಯ ಯುವ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಾಯ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಒಬೇಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಡೇ ಎಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಅಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಡೇ we feel very humbled and honored to express our heartfelt gratitude towards you we are so indebted to you for accepting us and giving us diksha which is giving us divya gyan and taking away our karmas our heartfelt gratitude for becoming our inspiration and our divine link to the parampara that we can latch on to in the nectar of devotion sri ala prabhupad states that the qualification of a spiritual master is that he must have realized the conclusion of the scriptures by deliberation and arguments and thus be able to convince others of these conclusions such great personalities who have taken shelter of the supreme godhead leaving aside all material considerations are to be understood as bona fide spiritual masters and everyone should try to find such a bona fide spiritual master in order to fulfill the mission of life which is to transfer himself or herself to the plane of spiritual bliss and when we look at your association you are every bit of that and more and we thank you for your kind association our association with you started with us attending the weekend classes with our kids about 5 years ago at that time we were new to krishna consciousness even though we knew a little bit of it theoretically through other associations and classes after consistently hearing from you every weekend our transformation has begun your association brought us clarity in terms of what is the purpose of life it really enhanced our relationships in within the family it nurtured our children in fact we feel like they've really grown under your uh, shelter and really matured and blossomed into real children we feel satisfied and content in our hearts and feel protected under your shelter looking back at what we were a few years back and what we are now shows how taking up this krishna consciousness which is a perfect science under the guidance and mercy of a bona fide spiritual master like your eternal self can bring a day and night difference in the life of people humble people like us this year we have personally i have personally seen a, you know seismic shift in our life you know we i lost my father but at the same time you have extended to be our eternal spiritual father and taken us under your shelter to guide us to the supreme father thank you guru maharaj throughout the entire journey even of my father leaving the body you have guided us and taught us the duties of a child duties of a son so that we can really deliver the generations before us and after us by becoming a sincere and pure devotee of the lord thank you for your wonderful guidance we have been closely observing your perfected krishna conscious life and are completely awestruck just following your instructions and trying to be even an iota of 
your sincerity towards your Guru Maharaj will bring us to perfection. Your countless years of perseverance, sacrifice have helped build this temple, this organization, and created an ambience that has been nurturing many, many Vaishnavas who are now really empowered to take this mission even forward and spread it even greatly. Your commitment to your Guru Maharaj is beyond anyone's imagination. Just like Srila Prabhupada used to always meditate on how to fulfill his Guru's instructions, your constant meditation on Srila Prabhupada's instructions completely you know, um, um, you know, um, engulf us in terms of those deep thoughts to you, towards you. We hear you always repeating only Srila Prabhupada's words and in fact emphasize and ensure that not to add any speculative theories beyond it. I have never seen you say anything without referring to a verse or a purport of Prabhupada. That is unbelievable, amazing and there are no words to describe. That shows how much time you have spent in really understanding every word of Srila Prabhupada to make sure that we are given that perfect message. In fact, we may not have the direct association of Srila Prabhupada, but you have your association and your classes have given us an opportunity to really feel every iota of every message that Srila Prabhupada intended to deliver to his disciples and generations after. You are so compassionate to take this perfect science of devotional service towards the Lord Krishna in spite of all odds and challenges and really has single-handedly delivered and d driven this Vedic cultural center and its reach to greater Seattle area. Whether it is taking to a food truck, our farm, ahimsa milk, initially we even for me, it was hard to understand how all these were connected. But under your regular association, we are able to see that you have perfected the real understanding of Krishna consciousness. And you know how to apply that to every walk of life. And thank you for your great association. And we are really humbled to be your disciples. And we prostrate ourselves at your lotus feet for all that you have done and been doing for Lord Chaitanya's and Srila Prabhupada's mission of spreading Krishna consciousness. And we sincerely pray to Sri Sri Radha Nila Madhav, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra, Sri Taram Lakshman, Gaur Nita, and Srila Prabhupada to bestow good health and long life to continue your mission to spread this great science, the culture of devotional service to thousands and thousands and millions in, along Washington and across the world. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Vilas, Hare Krishna, Hare Vilas Maharaj. Dhanavats pranams all glories to Srila Prabhupada. I am very humbled to write an offering to you on the occasion of your 75th Vyasa Puja. Srila Prabhupada begins to write the introduction of the Bhagavad Gita as it is by quoting the Mangala Charana prayers. He writes, I was born in the darkest ignorance and my spiritual master opened my eyes with the torch of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisances unto him. This verse is very applicable to me because when I entered this material world, I had no exposure to Krishna consciousness and was living in ignorance. It was your generosity of freely distributing this true and sacred knowledge of Krishna consciousness that picked me up from my fallen condition and made me aware of what my ultimate goal should be. Maharaj, you are a perfect Vaishnava and representative of Srila Prabhupada because you practice what you preach. There are many people who say something and do the opposite, but you are always leading by example. Whenever you take class, you always refer to Bhagavad Gita as it is, Srimad Bhagavatam and Srila Prabhupada's books. From this experience, I have learned that one must simply follow the instructions of the spiritual master and speak only what the spiritual master has taught them. Srila Prabhupada has said in the preface of Bhagavad Gita that if personally I have any credit in this matter, it is only that I have tried to present Bhagavad Gita as it is without any adulteration. You are an example of this humble mood because you always make sure to repeat Srila Prabhupada's words by referring to his books. 
No matter rain or shine, you are always working in the farm, whether it is lovingly taking care of the cows, planting new seeds, or painstakingly removing each slug from the earth. This is all because of your vision to recreate Srila Prabhupada's motto, simple living and higher thinking. From your actions, I have learned that devotional service must be performed with perseverance, despite bodily or material conditions. It is easy for us to simply call off devotional service due to Maya's alluring trap, but you are always making devotional service your number one priority. In the food truck, you always want to make sure that everyone will get top of the line prasadam that is fresh and wholesome. From this, I have learned that one must endeavor with determination for perfection in their devotional service. You always wake up before Mangalarti and chant your rounds in the morning. I have learned from your actions that Krishna consciousness is not some peripheral feel-good pursuit, but is the awakening of a deep spiritual lens which can only be developed through sincere discipline and regulated service. There are also countless other examples and situations of your life that we can take as an example and learn from, and all of them reinforce your constant action in devotional, devotional service. Thus you live by Lord Krishna's ultimate instructions, Manmana bhava mad bhakto madhyaji mam namaskuru mame vaishyasi satyam te pratijane priyosini. Always think of me, become my devotee, worship me, and offer your homage unto me. Thus you will come to me without fail. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. Bhagavad Gita, 18th chapter, 65th verse. Maharaj, I am so very thankful that you have given us your mercy as our spiritual master and guided us in our humble attempts to embark on the path of devotional service so that we may someday please Sri Sri Radha Nilamadava, your ever humble servant, Shreshta.